Okay. So here you have your parotid gland. Your parotid gland is the largest um, salivary gland. It produces digestive enzymes, and along with it, you have your parotid duct. Your parotid ducts are responsible for carrying those enzymes into the oral cavity. Um, on this side, you have your mandibular glands. Your mandibular glands are responsible for producing saliva, which is very important during mechanical digestion because it lubricates the food and it produces um, enzymes such as amylase, which break down starches. So in here, you can't really see, but there's two tubes in here. One's the larynx, which leads to the trachea, and then one's the pharynx, which leads to the esophagus, which we'll get to. So the opening of the larynx is called the glottis. Um, the glottis is covered by a flap, which is called the epiglottis, and shuts whenever you um, swallow, so your food doesn't go down to your trachea. So instead, the food is pushed through the pharynx, then through the esophagus, which leads down into your stomach, which we'll get there. Um, here we've got our lungs, our heart, our diaphragm. We've got our right median lobe of our liver, our right lateral lobe of our liver, our quadrate lobe, our left median lobe, and our left lateral lobe. So this little flappy thing is our gallbladder, and your gallbladder is responsible for storing bile. Um, and then moving down, we have our stomach, and just a um, important thing about the food, once it's swallowed, um, it is then called digesta. So the digesta enters the stomach, where it is mixed with hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen, which are chemical compounds in the stomach that assist in digestion. Um, inside the stomach, there's these little things called rugae. Um, they help churn the food and mix with those chemical secretions. So once that digesta is ready to leave the stomach, it enters the first part of the small intestines, which is called the duodenum. The duodenum is the um, primary site of digestion. And let's see here. Then once the food um, leaves the stomach, it's then called chyme. So the chyme actually goes into the duodenum where it's um, the primary site of digestion. So then back here you have your pancreas. Your pancreas produces digestive enzymes and hormones that then empty into the duodenum to um, kind of help the process of digestion. So once that is finished, it kind of moves along the small intestines. Um, the more anterior part of the small intestines is called the jejunum, which is the primary site of absorption. Um, and you can kind of see that the small intestines is held together by a fascia-like fascia um, sheet, which is called the mesentery, and this kind of helps the intestines from going every which way. So then the more distal part of the small intestines is the ileum. The ileum is still um, responsible for nutrient absorption and reabsorption of water. So then as we move along, Oh, and here, I missed this, this is your spleen. And then down here we've got some kidneys. Um, we've got that intestines leading down into your colon. So there's three parts to your colon, which is um, still responsible for reabsorption of water and um, production of the feces. So we have your ascending portion, which is this portion, I believe, and then the transverse, and then your descending um, colon. So the most distal portion of the descending colon is the rectum, and the rectum is the final site of water reabsorption and feces dehydration. So before I forget, this is your urinary bladder. And it's just kind of floating around right there. But underneath here, your rectum then leads into your anus, and your anus is the um, final excretion of the waste.